Holy God of heaven. At this morning we come before you. We are humbled as your people. We beg of you, Lord. Thou first and foremost sanctify our hearts. Lord, holy our mouth. Sanctify our bodies. We beg of you, Lord, to sanctify us. We've come to your holy place. We came to hear your holy words. That is why you call upon your presence at this time. We beg of you that the hearts that are here, Lord God, give them to hear to your word. Give them them to be helped. We pray for those who are going to say the word. Beg of you, Lord, let it not be us by your will. Don't let your burning chocolate at your mouth. Protect us to stray of the tongue. Chase away each and every destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus, we defeat the devil. May his kingdom be defeated in the name of Jesus. We call upon your Holy Spirit to go and be with us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Before we listen to the word of God. I'm glad by this morning we're going to share the word of God. Since we have a visitor who is a pastor, I'm Francisco Saveri Karangwa. Or Papa Shema, because I'm a parent, I have children. The translator is called Mutoni. Uh, God bless you. 
Imani huu mjisha kanda vanu God bless people who decorated their church. It looks nice. We thank God on Sunday. I didn't make it a harder wedding to attend to. But it looks nice. Let's read the word of God. We shall read the word of God as in, in his Ruth. Chapter 1 from verse 3 to verse 5. Shall read. Haranditsengo. Duhere kuri gatatungo eri mereki mugabo wa Naomi arapfa asigirana abahungu be bombi barongora bamowabu kazi umwe yitwaga Urupa undi yitwaga Rusi bamarayo imyaka nk'10 maze Maharoni na Kirioni bombi barapfa uwo mugore yapfushije umugabo we nabana be bombi dukomeze let's keep on Dusome kandi hili ya gato ya muri Rusi iwichebine. Ruth chapter 4. Murongo wa chumina gata tu kujera kuri chumina kari ingui. Verse 13 to 17. Harandi tengo nukobowaza chura Rusi abu mugorewe. Ama arijamana nawe uiteka amu hagusa minda abjaru muhungu. Chumina kane Abagore babwira Naomi bati uwiteka himbazwe utakuretse udafite umucunguzi icyaduha akazabikirangirire mu bisiraheli kandi azasubiza intege mu bugingo bwawe azagutunga mu bukecuru bwawe kuko umukazana wawe agukunda akakugirira umumaro uruta uwabahungu barindwi ariwe ariwe umubyayi Na, Naomi ajyana uwo mwana amushyira mu gituza ke abumurezi we abagore babaturanyi bamwita izina bati Naomi abyariwe umuhungu bamwita Obedi ari we se wa Yesai ise wa Daudi ukomeje aha niho haza gukomeza hakazavamo igisekuru cya Yesu Haleluya Haleluya tujye kuganira ijambo ry'Imana mu gihe gito dufite going to share the word of God in a short while we have. The theme is a sorrow can turn into a blessing. Hallelujah. 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 A sorrow can turn into a blessing. Uh, as I've been praying for God to give me what to teach or to preach today, I prayed but it couldn't come. I came upon this, this story and thought that we are in times where people are not happy and not rejoicing. Not glad of the seasons we are into of the corona pandemic. Not glad that you are starting the time of staying in the district. And those who think they see as the numbers keep increasing, we shall even go and stay, stay home. And it might even go beyond that, stay home and stay in your own room. It turns into staying in the room. Because if one of you had ever infected by this virus, the corona, and even your family you live into isolates you. So you cannot infect them. This corona had affected a lot of people. Business is out of fuye. Business are there no more. Churches were closed. Uh, sovereign or workers of the government were reduced. In the non-government organizations, the servants were reduced. Simply, in other words, 
A lot of hearts are sad. They have sorrow within them. Yet at the time of being sad, he sometimes turns into a joyful blessing. This is the journey we have seen to the family of El Melech. The story found in the book of Ruth. Ruth is one of the women who is shown in the Bible. Only two women we find in the Bible. Esther and Ruth. Esther and Ruth. You find how this family shifted or moved. El Melek moved and he wanted to find a way of living. When he went to Moab, him and he, uh, he and the wife. They, they were good, they lived happily. But after he died. After dying, his two sons also were dead. When the, the sons were dead, Aaron and Kirion, he left with his daughters in law. The two daughters in law, Orpa, Orpa and Ruth, they, they had a dialogue of what's next. Hallelujah. It is a family that had troubles or tribulations like towards them. Parents who are here, I mean mothers, think of losing two sons, losing a husband, staying with, I'm alone, staying with all alone. In other words, Naomi's situation was a sorrowful just as it is to us in these days. Her heart was sad. The heart of her daughters in law also sad. In other words, the home was full of troubles, sorrows, and tribulations. They were thinking, how are we going to live? And we are we are dying what the enemy wants. That is how it is to some troubled hearts nowadays. The hearts that are sad are troubled. The hearts that have depression. You find people are dead due to depression. You're told that by when their hearts are hardened or burdened. You get to know that because some men have turned into drunkards. I once asked Katete that why did Brarigwa get benefit in the time of stay home seasons? He was like people had a lot of drink, too much drinks. People drunk because they had no hope. A lot of drunkenness, it is an effect of depression. Drunkenness, it is a sign of having a heart that is that have too much sorrow within it. Those who don't know God, they themselves through drugs. They use drugs to heal such sad sadness. The unbelievers, they get drink to the highest, the maximum level. But those who have known God, they flee to the church. Because there's God who gives peace. God who changes a broken heart changes into a joyful heart. Because the happiness that God gives it has no effect. It has no conditions. It has nothing to go after it. Hallelujah. 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 People was at the level that they, they no longer feel happy. They, they always are angry or sad. I mean. Hallelujah. 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 And kindness is caused by a sorrowful heart. And brethren, 
When you cannot control your sorrow, then it uses you what it wants. Hallelujah. 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 I've seen a lot of children who, who used drugs after 1994 because they had lost their parents. I've, I've seen others who went into prostitution because they had none to look after them. But peace beyond all is from God our Father. Hallelujah. A true Christian should learn how to control the emotions or feelings. It is of God's way to stay into the sadness, yet you have known Jesus. It is of a curse for you to be filled by the Holy Spirit, but yet you are laid by the and kindness within you. It is of a shame for the one who is filled with the Holy Spirit for them to not be able to control what they speak, their mouth. Because sometimes a mouth is uh, being used by a broken heart or a broken heart. You are unable to speak what you are thinking of. Rather you speak of what your feelings command you to speak. Brethren, let us learn to command or to order our hearts. So as our hearts to rule the sorrow we shall have. For it to lead the angriness we shall have. For it to lead our mouth. To lead our wisdom. Because there should be a difference between us and the unbelievers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you to move from the sorrow to a blessing, just as it happened to Ruth, there are three seasons we have to go by. That is what we're going to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First time or first season, it is having too much sorrow that we live into. That is the same time that a lot of people are living within. The ones whom their business are not working, the ones they are unemployed and they didn't prepare for that, the ones who don't get what to feed their children. During the time as Ruth and Noam had been into Naomi who lost her husband The one who lost her two sons the one who was the daughter-in-law saying goodbye to her kiss me so I can go Orpa but God stayed with one person who was named Ruth. They went together with the tribulations. They went together with the sorrow seasons. The words we have read in chapter 1 we found two main things. First, it is time. There is time of sorrow, sadness, and there is time of joyful, and there is time of sliding, and there is time of righteousness. Each, each, each thing has its own season. And each thing has its own season at a specific time, at anointed time. But when you don't know that each item or each thing has its own time, its own right time, sometimes we don't remember that we can live in a time of tribulations or being tasted. Hallelujah. 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 Being tested is not a sin. The sin is to fail through that taste. And if you haven't been tested, you cannot grow. You get a diploma because you've, you've learned. A soldier is drunk because they worked for that. There is, none, there is nothing for... There is nothing that comes just for nothing. 
And even the solution we were going by It is the principles of going through the times of taste or tribulations Taste do something great to teach us in the flesh and also in the spirit Unless you feel pain you cannot understand that people feel also pain Unless you spend a night without eating you cannot understand that hunger hurts Unless you have grown spiritual, you cannot take long in the salvation. Because when sins come back to you, you shall remember that when you go back to sins, you shall go back to the other taste. May God strengthen your heart such that you cannot go back or keep strength from what you've been unto before. Because our school of taste has strengthened you. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes testing it is of troubles, it is of importance to us. And in the times of trials, God protects us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no benefit that comes through sorrow apart from teaching us. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. It hurts being sad. And then it double hurts. It hurts you multiple, multiple times. And then tomorrow there's something. Tomorrow there's something. Ten years go by. But after the end, you raise with a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God told us that Naomi spent 10 years. In those 10 years, they were in troubles. Yet they were sad. But at the right time, an anointed time of having sorrow no more, when the Lord had seen their taste or their level, started preparing a way for them. If the people who suffered in the Bible, Naomi, that's Noam Niob. and Job. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember Job, he lost all his possessions and children. They were all gone. But because he's a person who knew we have some times of troubles or trials. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job 28 verse 4. He told those who are against him that. That can I cry out for a human being? What am I going to do if I don't get patient? If I don't be patient? Because sometimes you cry for a person, they hate you, but they keep on with their businesses. When you go to them, you find them, they have more trials than yours, or they have the same as yours. When you see them from behind the physical appearance, you find them, they are fine with no problem. When they got them, you find them they have a lot of sorrow more than you do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Naom had also the time of being patient. She had enough time of going into temptations. She had sufficient time of feeling the sorrow being induced into trials. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know losing a husband? Lose both children. Yet you're old, you cannot give birth anymore. You have no uh, strength to make you live. Yet another time saying, I'm going to, my children are going to help me live, or my grandchildren are going to help me live. But all God. Each and every time he has already prepared plan the second, the plan B of how he's going to make you live or survive that is how the 
same day makes the other people who are left alone survive. Ikatunga watfakasi. Makes the widow survive. Ikatunga ifubji. Makes the orphan survive. Zikaba onachi. They live with no problem at all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You remember in ancient times a lot of people were orphans. But God gave out a way. Most of, us, most of them have grown up. I can see that the knees. They are old enough. Many of them are mothers, their parents. Others are leaders. Others are business people. Others are men. But because God has created his own plan B. But had it not been God Almighty, they would have all gone. They would have gone or finished. Hallelujah. 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 Naomi went also through the enough time of testing her, her level of patience. Because in the time the sorrow brings to us, it is the level of faith. Had a job not believed, then he could not have a destination. Had Abraham believed, then he could not be the father of all believers. Had David believed that he's going to kill God, he could not be the king of Israel. Had Joseph believed that he's going to be blessed by God, Shouldn't be the master. Hallelujah. 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 Had and now believed. Tell God that my husband Elmelech served God. He also feels so and that is the end of her life. But because God lets us be in this situation, so He can measure our faith, the level of our faith. When our faith is strong enough, He takes us away to give us in return. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the second time the season you're going to. That is preparing for your blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Remember, we read in chapter one. We read chapter four. But in the book of Ruth, it has four chapters. First chapter. Chifuga uburyo Rusi changwa se uyu muryango. It speaks of how this family lived in the times of sorrow lived in the times of sadness to the extent where it advised itself to go back to their motherland so that they can find the world of livings because they had no living conditions where they lived. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 2. We see of how Ruth went to, far, to find the harvest, the, to find into the farm, to walk into the farm. Hallelujah. 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 Chapter 3. We found how Ruth Boaz. The way Boaz uh, gave her as in she brought her back to life in uh, as we can see. In the stories that are in this chapter, that is where we find a path whereby God prepares us a blessing. Hallelujah. 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 When God is preparing a blessing for you, you start seeing good seasons or good times. You start seeing some simple, simple signs of your own blessing. And when you're hungry, when you were hungry before, 
You start getting little food to it. Just because God has started to add into. Hallelujah. 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 I read words and they felt sweet of me. The second Corinthians. Chapter 7 verse 10 to 21. Hallelujah. 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 Na magamba ni murgu andiko guakabiri paul numwe andiki abakori no. Second Corinthians the Apostle Paul wrote to the to the Corinthians. Mujicha chakari ingui. Chapter seven. Murongo wachumi. Verse ten. Harandi tengo agahinda komu burjobgi mana gatera kuihana kuti chuzwa. For godly sorrow produces repentance leading to salvation, not to be regretted, but leads to salvation, but the sorrow of the word produces death. For observe this very thing that is sorrowful in a godly manner, what diligence it produced in, in you. What clearing of yourselves, what indignation, what fear, what vehement desire, what zeal, what vindication, in all things you proved yourself to be clear in this matter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These words separates us godly sorrow and the flesh sorrow. Those who are sad they have two, two ways either in two categories. They said no, no God but others are sad yet they only know the word or the flesh alone. They are unbelievers. And those who are sad yet they know all God they take their own sorrow they give it, they present it to God. Hallelujah. Just as Job said, can I weep to a human being? He has taken his own sorrow and presented it to God, before God. Naomi and Ruth they had presented their, their sorrow towards the God of Israel. They knew that God is preparing them in the flesh and in the spirit as well. Because they had believed this word that says, you can go through the fire and are going to be burned. Or you can go through the water, you cannot be shaken, be gone by that. Because you pray the heavenly God, that sorrow means nothing, it's meaningless to you. Is not going to harm you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The unemployment you have is not going to harm you. Business Even though your business has declined, it's going to rise again. One of people you lost because of COVID, God is going to give you in return. Just because you pray to God. When you get into your sense that prepares you to get a solution or to be blessed, that is when God creates your own bones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. COVID when the corona started, most people lost their jobs. And when you follow back, you find they did miss something to eat. Why is that? The God who created the powers of their fans ancient times ago has also created your own powers such that he can help you survive in the time God is preparing for your blessing or for, for, you to, for him to bless you. In this story of Ruth and the mother-in-law 
Imana yaremye Boazi. God created the Boaz. Ibasubiza mu gihugu cyo kwase. Took them to their own motherland. Kugira ngo bashake mwene wabo w'umugabo. So they can find their own relative is a man. Basanga ari umugabo Imana yateguye w'umutunzi. They found that God has prepared a wealthy man for them. Kugira ngo azabagirire neza. For him to be kind or do good to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now Imana yateguye umuntu utazi kandi uzakugira neza. Even you God also prepared someone you don't know but he's going to be kind he's going to be kind towards you. Hallelujah. 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 Imana kandi ne mikintu kiguhuza nicyo kintu kizagutunga. God also created something that is going to connect you with your own living condition with your own living I Utazibanga The one who doesn't know this secret Hallelujah 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 Munyarwanda ravuze ngo Imana iruta imanzi Ah Aranda said that God is beyond the the category of a heroes Arongera ravuga ngo Imana iruta imanga He even said that God is beyond the pits or the worst position he might be into Hallelujah Hallelujah Abarokore benshi Most believers Na nubwo tujya dufashanya We don't even help each other. Yet Arandan said, Hallelujah. That where a man sleeps, one has grasses over. Don't you worry, those are the proverbs you can't. Bishaka kuvuga iki? What does this mean? Iyi ni inkuru y'abanyarwanda. This is the story of the Rwandans. Iri mu mugano umwe. That is in one proverb. The shows how they could they help each other in ancient times. But to us believers or Christians, David spent the night without eating, but I don't know that. When I also spent the night without eating, he also doesn't know that. And it's too many videos. Yet we all leave food on the table. Hallelujah. Or even throw them. Hallelujah. Jehovah Kumu Christu. Instead of being a Christian who doesn't help, I would be an unbeliever who lives like a kind person. Because even lying of your Christianity, a Christian who never gives, mostly his his greediness. Never makes him grow. Never. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na Yesu shimwe namenye ibiryo waburaye. There's no place Jesus when I left food yet you spend the night without eating. Na mani guhumugisha idacishije mu biganza byanjye. There's no may God bless you without passing through your hands, my hands. I mean. Umugisha Imana yamaye singuguweho nta cyubumariye. The blessing that God gave me that not bless you that is meaningless to me. Kuko ibiryo byinshi bitera indwara. Because a lot of food leads to the disease. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kandi bimwe tumena ntacyo ntacyo twungukamo. And the ones we throw we don't benefit from that. Hallelujah. 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 Uri amugani mbabwiye. The prophet I told you I've told I told you before. Kera ngo abanyarwanda bateye ibugesera. The Rwandans they 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 went they fought over Bugesera. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They went against over Bugesera. Bugesera kwa ba bishop babaye abanyarwanda mu gihe kitari cyakera cyane People from Gesera were called Rwandans in that these uh, modern times Nuko ngo icyo gihe bateye And when they fought they went against them cyari gihe cyo kwiyenza It was time of uh, being just against a person without any reason behind no kugerageza kwagura igihugu And trying to expand the nation Hallelujah Hallelujah Nuko ngo umwami kiri marujugiro And then the king uh, rujugiro yarafite ingabo zitwa imanzi He had arms who are called imanzi that was the name Umwami soro w'ibugesera And the king soro of bugesera yarafite ingabo zitwa imanga He also had kings who were called imanga Bararwana the Then they fought Those of Bugesera they defeated the ones of Rwanda. Ingabo zitumwami ziriruka. The king left the arm, the army is left the king and they flee. Nuko ngo umwami soro w'ibugesera yirukanga na kirima rujugira. And the king of Solo ran after the king uh, rujugira kirima of Rwanda. Bageze ku musozi wa Gihinga. On the mountain called Gihinga those are the names. Ngo yitura mu manga. He he uh, he fell down into You see the valley, the, the down of the valley. 
when he wanted to kill him remember that before in ancient times before times when his father uh, had a, a problem within the head the ones who brought to his aunt they, they, they were married in that, in that families in those families when he wanted to sword him kill him he had mercy on him then he added he, he added grass over he covered him with grass when the armies came to the king sorrow the, the ones who are called imanga they said he has gone he flee from him that is the name that is where the proverb came that where a man lies one yeah. covers with grass but when a Christian falls or backslides the brethren adds may God bless you a blessing that is not in two actions we shall pray for you pray through actions I was saying 10k, 10,000. Or 5,000. Or send a mo mobile message. That is when you're adding, in, you're covering it with grass. When they went, he went, when he went to his own kingdom, before they started weeping for him. When the army saw him, they would shout, they shouted out. He told him them great words. But brethren, I want you to go by. That God is beyond the Imanga. I mean, the, the other armies they were fighting with. The soldiers from Ujesera. Oh, yeah. The soldiers from Rujesera, the ones who were unable to kill him, when he fell, when he was injured, just because there is God of Rwander. Hallelujah. 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 They all shouted together, and then he said, told them, God is beyond the armies of Rwander. All his armies or his soldiers, the one who left the king in the battle, until the time was going to be captured by the enemies. The same way to us, brethren, God is beyond your uncle. God is beyond the husband you got married to. Because God does miracles. He's going to command your uncle to do the miracles. He's going to command your husband to do them. Because God is mighty. Hallelujah. 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 When we believe into people, change them into gods, we're fighting for ourselves. Then God leaves that. He lets you go. Hallelujah. 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 The, pa the Pascal that is in this season of being prepared. It is to prevent and be righteous to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read what is Isaiah 41. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I shall strengthen you. Surely I shall strengthen and rescue you. I shall uphold you with my right hand, which is my righteousness. Hallelujah. 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 These words in Isaiah 41 uh, verse 10. When we, go through, when we go through them in the seasons we are into, if not good, 
azadufasha kwihangana going to help us to be strong and patient azadufasha gukomeza gukiranuka going to help us to keep our righteousness azatugeza ku ntambwe ya gatatu going to take us to the third season or third step yitwa gusingira umugisha that is receiving a blessing haleluya 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 abakuru muri mwebwe the elders within you niba ari giye iki gihugu cyabayemo amafaranga and if if this time when this nation had money it's in the 95 kugera muri bibiri to 2000 muzi impamvu do you know why rwanda rwari rwarababaye it was the country who had to much sorrow was hurt abatera nkunga bose aho bava bakagera kwisi all the sponsors wherever they are in the world mana yabategetse kuza mu gishaba mu rwanda god commanded them to bring their blessing into the nation they give out money they give out a lot of money they give out money now they went to other nations they are in central africa they are in south sudan why is that that is the formula that God has created. After the times of sorrow, there is time for preparing you and then there is time for blessing you your own blessing. Get ready for a blessing that we are going to have after the corona pandemic. Why is that? That is, that is how God works. That is his formula. Hallelujah. 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 And the good thing when he's preparing you, you feel when you have no problem at all. The third part, the third step which is receiving your own blessing. For you to get to that, there's some things you should be precautious of. First it is making a good choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember Ruth? His mother-in-law uh, he gathered her and Orpa. Arababwira ati bana banje dore ndashaje. Said my children look I am old. Ntago nenda kongera kubabyarira abahungu bazabacungura. I'm not going to bore children for you to rescue you. Or to restore you, I'm blessing. I'm giving you a blessing. You can just leave. Oprah gave out the forehead. They blessed her, and she went. That is where the Bible ends with her. We haven't had her anymore apart from that. But because Ruth had made a good choice, the word of God says in chapter 1 verse 16, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He looked at her, he had sorrow. But after having the sorrow, he said, wherever you shall be, the same place I shall be. Your nation shall be my nation. Your God shall be my God. Most of the times we miss a blessing because we chose due to human eyes looking. And we don't ask God. We don't bother asking God. Uh, most ladies who have bad marriages, they've seen what is tangible in the eyes of a human being. What we think we shall be, it is not what, it is not what turns us to be. He chose just as Ruth had chosen. Hadn't Ruth to have a, a great choice or a good choice? Then she should also let the mother-in-law go and then she also goes her own ways. She would have ended just as Orpa ended, none to keep hearing them or listening about their story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After choosing diligently, it requires the second thing which is to take part into that intervene into that hallelujah hallelujah it requires to work hard to pray harder it doesn't require to pray hard and then we not work hard because those things they go together 
they should be in an, 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 an equilibrium point they should be together urasenga imana igatanga umugisha mu byukora you pray and god blesses your the works of your hands urakora bikunganirwa namasengesho you work and is supported by the prayers hallelujah hallelujah ariko abakristo babapfapfa but unwise christians bareke ibyo bakora ngo bagiye guharira gusenga they let what they do and they go to pray alone nuko gora imana that is being hard on god bisaba gutekereza it requires to think imana ifasha uwifashije god helps the one who is trying to help themselves ikaguha umugisha blesses you ariko kawunganira but then you suppose that haleluya 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 ugakoresha imana wahawe zose use the talents you've been given the gifts the all of them as you have them umwana wo mukobwa usanga atarize gusemura you find that Allah did not study how to interpret or translate Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ariko hashobora gusengera umukristo wo muri Pinide. But here they might come a Christian of a certain church. Ya kumva ukuntu umwana wo mukobwa semura neza. When they see how this young lady translates or interprets. Bakamutwara kamwakaze. Then they take her, they give her a job, they employ her. Kuko umukobwa arambagizwa kuko yagaragaye. Because they 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 are being dead because they have been shown they are seen. Akarambagizwa kubera umuryango we. They are dead because of their families. Ubwenge arabwerekanye. She has shown how wise she is. Umuryango ni torero tumusanze. And then the family is the church we found her into. Janze bikunza zava mu mukozi mwiza. Whether you like it or not she's going to be a good employee. Kubera kwa koresha impano ye neza. Because she uses her gifts diligently. Icya gatatu. Third, umugisha muragendana. You go with a blessing, you work with your blessing. Umugisha ni wikanirwa. A blessing never worked for that hard. Niyo wakora iki? Whatever you do, Imani tawushize mu biganza byawe. When God in place it within your hands, you cannot get it. Zasangarabo mwiganye baba bambere banabigisha uyu munsi batarabona kazi. You might find you you started with people they were the first even used to teach you but they still unemployed until now. Formire batazi. The formula they don't know. Kikanza cyabo ari kitaragiramo. There is what is not yet within their hands. Yakumavi ugihamagare. Go to the knee call upon that. Imana ni mara kuguha umugisha. After God blessing you. Akazi kazagushaka. A, a job shall come to find you. Haguza shaka kazi akazi kazagushaka. You shall never find for an employment rather it's going to run after you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David uyu munsi witegereje ushobora gusanga kazi kose wakoze nabantu bagushaka. David when you try to see might find that the tries uh, the kinds of job you try to do people search for you. Gate uyu munsi witegereje ushobora gusanga kazi kose wakoze nabantu bagushaka. When you look you might find that the job you are employed to people wanted wanted to have you. Why was that? They came from their motherland yet they had prayed for the blessing. Their fathers raised hands towards them. May God bless you wherever you're going in the city. They went here they kept praying for that blessing. Hallelujah. 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 And there are those who learn the studies that they are all theirs. They're even wiser than them. They even have fame uncles and aunties, great of them. But they haven't helped anything. But the God who blesses command someone to go and find David wherever they are uh, command someone to go and find Kabibi wherever they are and Damian gives out uh, the whole cup but they spend the whole day when it's all purchased that others it's, it's destroyed within their stores yes because he came from their home yet the father had blessed him Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Umugisha ni wikanirwa. A blessing is never worked for that hard. Aho giye muragendana. Wherever you go you go with your blessing. As long as God has blessed you with that. Na ukitwara rikisezerano mwagira. Then you keep and be king of the promise the covenant you made with God. For the blessing to come to us, we should remind God. Because he told us that cry, I shall come to rescue. Show you the great things you are unable to know. 
Hallelujah. After God giving us this blessing, Proverbs 10, 22. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. Umujisha uite katanga uzano uchire Kandi na muwabaro yonjira ho Amen 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 Na jirango tukike gutandu kanya umujisha nubuchire I want us to differentiate a blessing and rich or wealthy Dami ya haraba churu zimukora na You have business people you work with they have uh, more money than yours. But they, all, they keep having sorrow within them. They keep having things, excuses. Hallelujah. 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 There is a man who was rich, wealthy when I studied in university. I'm not going to say his name. He held 32 trucks. But he used to teach children, do not imitate the children of the teachers. Why was that? He felt that if wealthier than he does, that person didn't know differentiating a blessing and wealth. A blessed person is is satisfied. But the one who runs after rich never gets to that. You die when you're still running after wealthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because a blessing is different from rich or wealth. Hallelujah. 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 For us to make it then, for us to grab that blessing indeed, Shall so I read another that is in Proverbs 22 4? And I request the pastor to come and pray for us. It's worth for us that the seasons we are going by to get prepared of receiving a blessing. And after being blessed, so we can maintain that and keep it. Because when you stray or look aside, a blessing goes away from you. Hallelujah. 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 David, do Migani makuya na kabiru murongo wakane harandi tengo. Read Proverbs chapter twenty-two, verse four. Uichi shawugufi, akuba hui teka. Ingororane yano uchire ni chua hirano ujingo. Amen. Amen. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Uichi shawugufi. By humility. Akuba hui teka. And the fear of the Lord. Ingororane ni bino bitatu. The rewards are three things. Ni chua hiro. Honor. Riches and life. You can add internal life if you want to. And those are the things we pray in the word. When we, when we say, May God bless you, most of us think about money. But you cannot have money when it's of no importance to you. It is, it is worthless to have one million but spend sleepless nights. Worthless to have food that you cannot eat or consume. It's worthless to have a family that has no children. That is all a blessing. It comes from humility and the fear of the Lord. Let us pray to God to teach us how to be humble and be obedient to him and if I invite for him to keep being our shepherd because we know he's preparing us certain times, certain seasons that the Ruth had go, Ruth went into. Yeah, the ones who started praying in chapter 4, verse 13. We can even start from 16. 
cyangwa se 15 or 15 uh, chuminagatanu haranditse ngo um, it's written cya 16 ngo Naomi ajyana uwo mwana amushyira mu gituza cye abumureziwe they now took the child and laid him on her bosom and he became a nurse to him mwibuka wandi wari wapushije umugabo remember the one who lost her husband wari wapushije abahungu we babiri left the two sons wari waranzwe numwe mu bakazana be one of the daughters in law had despised her nyuma yo gucungurwa but after being restored nyuma yo guhura numucunguzwe witwa Boaz after meeting with her restorer who is Boaz nyuma y'inzira ndende yatangiye ahungura ibyo kurya after the longest journey of starting from uh, the harvest after not going to the first restore, not, he's not going to rescue or restore him. Then the daughter in law who was young, Rusi, who is named Ruth, was restored by one of the relatives who is a man, gave child to a boy child, after giving birth to a boy child, called him Obed. Obeyed. Uh, this Obed is the father of Jesse. Jesse is the father of David. David In Isaiah 11. That is where we find the root of Jesus. The word of God says that Shami from the root of David he's the one who came Jesus was unto him. Until the time of resurrection, think of Naom and the daughter-in-law Ruth and their daughter, their, the, the grandchild obeyed and all those who originated from them to Jesus Christ that is the one we bore to him. Think of that blessing. The one who came from the other sorrow of losing a husband and all the two sons and being killed by hunger and having the times of shifting from where you came from and go back to a place you fled before. Let us pray to God so that he can give us being humble on the fear of the Lord so he can prepare and prepare for our blessing too so when the time we shall be blessed we shall grab our blessing as Naomi had grabbed Obed in her bansom God bless you